Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with more Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks so much for watching. As you guys can see, we have to make our way over to Lake Tatori right now. So let's align ourselves up with a pin so we know exactly where to go towards the red one, right? What's gonna be right over here? I do want to like slide down. I think it'd be really awesome if I get some very cool forward momentum with these. Yeah, and do something like that where I glide down. Um, yeah, or just ramp off. Oh, that was not... I lost some momentum doing that. But I'm like literally snowboarding down a mountain and I couldn't be happier. But I'm actually getting thrown in a different direction over here. I don't want to be. Holy moly, that's a long way down. Okay. I'm I'm just we're just gonna go for it. I'm flying now. Oh yeah, okay, so we're in the right spot. We're in the right spot. We can ambush these clowns if we wanted to. Or we just like skate right past them. <laughs> There's a bridge near here, isn't there? Uh yeah, this is the where I gotta go. This is it. I'm gonna pin purple. I'm gonna delete that one, and then yeah, we're we're continuing where I need to go. This is this is absolutely perfect. And we are snowboarding down the hill like an absolute legend right now. This is the actual Legend of Zelda. Little did you know. Oof. Great. All right, here we go. So the bridge is out, but we need to figure out a way forward, right? And that's the whole gimmick of Tears of the Kingdom is like, hey, the bridge may be out, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Lucky Clover Gazette. Hey, guys, it's me. Wasn't I supposed to talk to one of you guys? Maybe. You. What happened to the bridge? And how am I getting over there? The bridge is busted. Let me guess, you have business in Rito Village as well? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the bridge is down, there's no way across. Since the newspaper ran an article about the Rito food shortage, supply shipments have started to arrive, which is great, but with no bridge, there's no way to transport the goods to Rito. I'm at my wit's end. Okay, uh, might have to throw another Hylian pine cone on the fire. That's it, a Hylian pine cone, oof. That's how I'm gonna get over there. All right, so I picked up a torch, which is kind of cool. I don't really, I don't feel I need it. That is a Hylian Pinecone Reef, if I've ever seen one. Thanks. So you guys remember in Breath of the Wild, there was something called Rivali's Gale. Any of you guys remember that? Rivali's Gale was like a big gust of wind that you can summon at any time in order to uh, launch yourself vertically upwards. Yeah, the Highland Pinecone is going to be acting exactly like that. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. So we're going to go to our inventory. I'm going to go Highland Pinecone. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to drop it right here. And we're going to get a big old burst. Huge burst, which will allow us to head on over there, which is perfect. I do want to find other pine cones, though. That's the thing. Like, I don't want to just have one in my inventory because you never know when you're going to need these in the future. And it's a great ability to have a whole bunch of them. So I think I got some flint, too, and I got some wood. So I can easily make that, um, that happen at any given time. So here we go. So welcome to Rito Village. This is exactly where we're at. And, yeah, I'm excited for it. Because we haven't visited Rito Village in ages since Breath of the Wild. But honestly, Rito Village didn't have snow. At least in the season that we were visiting over there last time. What is this? I don't think I want to. Maybe? Oh, there's a treasure chest there. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some wood down and I'm going to burn this thing. I have five pieces of wood. That's not a lot. So I'm going to put that right over here. Drop that. And then I'm going to grab a fire starter in the form of, um, let's do this. Yeah, fire fruit. Boom. So by having that campfire over there, it's a constant source of heat. 
that's going to essentially break that down. Versus, like, throwing fire and fire and fire at it. 50 rupees is great! That was totally worth a campfire and a fire fruit there. Absolutely. Pfft, I'm in. Give me that 51 rupee count right now. I'm so rich. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of money for the next area, so I, I may have to stop and beat up a bunch of people. A bunch of baddies, that's for sure. Oh, Rusty Halberd? Eh, I'm okay without it. Rusty weapons, man. Okay, well, here we go. This is going to be exactly like it was way back in the day. Climbing all the way up. Yeah, look at these little kids. Those are the Rito kids. Cute. This seems to be a spot where you can sleep. Okay, well, I don't really need any healing from, from anything. We can just make our way up. We could fully explore Rito Village a little bit later. Like, I've got no problem with that. This is the shop where you can buy some cane sugar, some goat butter. You can buy arrows. You can buy an oil jar. I don't really need any of those items, but I do need the shrine. So let me go get the shrine really quick. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we said that we were going to do a previous shrine at the beginning of the episode, didn't we? Ah, yeah, we did say that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Now that we unlock this, we're going to go teleport back to that other one. And then, um, yeah, we're going to do both. Cool. I almost forgot, man. Usually I uh, stop an episode right uh, after a shrine versus before it. So anyway, let's see what we got. Oh, talk to me. Do I know the shrine? Ride the winds. Okay, I will proceed to ride said winds. All right, look at me riding winds now. Oh, yeah, Mission Impossible style. Okay, I, I guess I'm going to do it. Do not get shocked. Cool, I guess. Whoa, okay. Hi. Alright, now we're in. Okay, okay, here we go. So where, where is the treasure chest? Okay, I'm actually gonna get hurt right here, so just stop gliding? Oh my gosh, man. Where's the treasure chest? Okay, here's some ice. I could easily just break this ice and fall down again. Okay, treasure chest is here. Okay, and he's going to fall backwards, unfortunately, so I'm not going to get the rewards unless I grab him really quick. Great. All right, treasure chest one. Always looking out for it. Like, I don't care where the end is. Just give me the treasure chest. <laughs> All right, there might be multiples inside this map, so we'll see. Taking a look around over here, I have two Zonai constructs that are firing arrows at me. Very rude, by the way. Ride the wind. Don't even think about it, guy. And I lost all of my stuff by hitting him that way. Why even do that? Why? For what? <laughs> Alright, we're riding waves all the way up now. I think that was the only treasure chest, man. At least I'm hoping so. It's fine. It's a quick and easy one. <laughs> Just knock it out. Get a brand new one. It was quite interesting that uh, we just had to ride waves and make our way through. Cool. How many do I have now? Three. Okay. That's, that's not bad. I could, I could do three. I mean, getting four would be ideal. So, there might be a blessing statue nearby here. So, we might be able to just grab the... Extra stamina? I think I might go for stamina. Or hearts. Uh, actually, hearts would be better. Yeah, yeah, hearts would be a little bit smarter. Okay, so we finished off this one. Yeah, and we did get the the treasure chest. It was the get Gatakis. Gatakis? Gatakis shrine? Easy. Done. Gatakis shrine. Done. Great. So we came from which way? There was a... Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. We came from this shrine. You're telling me I can't teleport to it? Oh, fudge, man. Boo. All right, so I can't teleport to it. Big deal. I thought I could, but apparently I cannot. So that is unfortunate because I didn't even open it. I didn't even open the shrine. Oh, well. 
Alright, so let me just climb my way up. Oh, a little cave? I'm sorry, are you a Korok? Yeah, hi, hi. Excuse me, are you a Korok, he says? <laughs> and then I throw the rock right on his head. Yes! That's what you get. Give Hestu uh, my regards. Hestu or is it Hetsu? Uh, I don't know. Don't care about him. Alright, look at this. Ooh, how much how much for the gear? Snow quill tunic five hundo? One thousand? Dude, I don't have five hundred. Snow Wow, five hundred for that would be real good, man. I'm broke! What else can I sell you? I don't have stuff. I can sell you like some Hinox toenails. Uh thirty Dude, this is rough. Even if I liquidated my entire inventory, I would have... This is 200 for a star fragment. I may have to do it. I may have to do it. Because I don't... I don't have... I don't have cool resistance. Uh, we'll pay a lot for those auras. Uh, so will the folks. So keep an eagle eye. What are you talking about? What kind of auras are you, are you talking about? Dude, that's a lot of things to sell. Uh, I'm gonna sell you the opal. Man, I'm getting drained over here. 200 for that star piece was really good, but... I, I don't have nowhere near enough. Duck inside a cave. Plenty of caves along the road here. And you can find ore inside the caves. Oh man, I might come across a roadblock here because I don't have two levels of cold so if I find a pot I'm gonna have to do some some crazy resistance making um yeah I'll, I'll do it I'll be fine no 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 I'll be fine I don't need it so <laughs> I'll be fine <laughs> I'll be famous last words over here I'm like, how am I getting 500 bucks? Well, I'm just gonna have to do some cold resistance recipes. I don't wanna go caving. I don't wanna go exploring. I just wanna get to the wind temple. So if I make all these heat resistant recipes, I think I'll ha have, or sorry, some cold resistance recipes. I think I'll have enough to just go through and brute force my way through the game. Which is, I absolutely love that. Because everyone else would take their time and explore and do this. No, we're gonna brute force our way. Can't tell me what to do, that's right. Got a soup ladle over here. All right, perfect. You know what, look at how much of this we got. One, I've got seven minutes, 14 minutes. I got, I got 30 minutes. I got 37 minutes and 30 seconds worth of cold resistance. I think I could handle the entire cold wind temple, all that stuff. I think I can handle it. I'll be fine. Alright, so places where I need to go. Places where I need to go. Hey, what's up? Here we go. Excellent. Let's take a look and see our good friend over here. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. We don't do anything. The village. Huh? Huh? Is that you? It is you. Link. What's up, Tulin? Good to see you. How you been? So apparently you met this kid in Breath of the Wild. I think he was like a little baby or something. Like they told me you were missing. It's good to see you're doing well. It's Taba. It's very nice to see you again. Hey, Saki. Do you remember my son Tulin? He's grown taller. Uh, though perhaps not yet grown up. Oh, uh, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. <laughs> As long as you think you could take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Uh, what? You think I can't? I'm already full-fledged, you know. 
Uh, you'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. Uh, you all keep wasting your time treating the Song of Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Listen, you. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Kids these days. Tulin wants me to uh, let him find what's going on with the blizzard. He's having trouble hearing no. Yeah, he mentioned a song. Yeah, it's an old folk song here in the Rito village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village uh, was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so, the song that's been passed down through the generation. That's what it claims. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with a blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Even the song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme. I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth, but Tulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm, hmm yes. But these Ruto, these are Ruto matters. You came for some purpose, yes? <clears throat> what? This is terrible news. So then why not... Uh, then not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance uh, and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm... We Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search, but this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging out for food. My husband has been able to leave the village since becoming the village elder. I wish there was something I could do. Ah, huh. oh, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information. He might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? I do see them. I'm going to fly over there. He's in the lodge near there if you want to try to visit him. Okay, great. Tulin of Rito Village starting off right now. That's exactly where we're going. Wow. Was that smart of me to run off the edge like that and use half of my stamina while gliding? Mm, I don't know. All right, so we met up with Tiba again. Pretty cool. Oh, dude, what? No actual way. Cool, dude. Just use my recall right now. How? It's fine. How? Let's try that again. I'll not, I'll not go fast. I will go slow. I just slipped right off because I had no stamina. Uh, whatever. All right, where are the bonfires? There we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's right over here. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, should we knock him out? Yeah, he might give us something cool. One hit KO. What's up, dude? Gone. Let me take that uh, sapphire sword from you, thanks. Where's your stuff, though? You just gave me a sapphire sword? Uh, that's lame. So that's a that's taking a sapphire and then like fusing a sword to it. Is that even worth it? No, absolutely not. I would never do that. You would sell your sapphires. Hey, look who's here. It's Addison. Is that his name? Addison? He wants me to Okay, I got this. I got this. This is a little puzzle. I'll take care of him. Oh gosh. Uh -huh. There's one for you. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's that's pretty stable. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty stable. It leans on each other, man. You can you can let go, buddy. Thanks for help earlier. Uh, yo, he's putting President Hudson over here too. I mean, a special rice ball so, you, so the cold weather won't get to him, but he can't stand here forever. I don't know what to do. Yo, let go, buddy. 
Let it go, Addison. He, he's standing. That's right. How's the president standing? Because I helped you out, man. All right. Good job. That's right. So now we're going to get paid. 20 bucks, man. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this. 20 bucks, man. Good. It was worth my time. Yo, biting meaty rice balls. Biting meaty rice balls. And a bomb flower. Thanks, man. Okay. Go put up some more signs. I got your back. I'll help you out. Biting meaty rice balls. Alright. Oh, man. My shield is damaged. Uh, we're going in. You got any stuff over here? Yo, can I take this stuff? Flint and wood, baby. Oh, yeah. Give me all these things. Sorry, me. I'm taking them. They're construct horns. You don't know what they do. I do. Here, I'm going to use this wooden ladle. Uh, 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 uh. Soup ladle. Yeah, soup ladle didn't even do the work against that thing. Guess I'm going to use that, that axe right now. Okay, get some free arrows. I will gladly take 10 to 11 arrows. I'll take a chill shroom too. Yeah, I need to find all this stuff. I'm breaking this too. Wow, pine cones galore. Okay, we got a lot of vertical stuff happening on over here. Okay, are you hearth? Yes, you are. Link, you're all right. I worried after I heard that you had gone missing. What happened? Well, let me explain to you what's happened. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Our feathers are dealing with a more, a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of the blizzard. And all that's been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. I wish I could do more for you. Uh, though now that I think of it, maybe Tulin could help. <laughs> yeah, we should. Oh, right. You weren't around for it. But little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts adults to shame. Even in the vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Taba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. The kid doesn't preen about it uh, more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Uh, last I saw, he was with Gizane and Lysa on a trip to find food. I think they were on their way to the Hebra South Summit Cave to the northeast of here. Uh, the cave is past the cliff out up front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Okay. All right, bonfire at the mouth of the cave. Got it. Okay, Tulin Arito Village. Continue. Here we go. We're going higher up the mountain over here. We may need to bust out our, um, our cold resistance recipes. We may need to. Climbing up that mountain. Let's see. We may have to battle some foes, too, along the way. Here's hoping we don't. Oh, anything inside here? No, nope. Oh, what is that? Okay, there's some thorns this way. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. Hey, what's up? Okay, Cecily. Yeah, yeah, what's happening up there in the skies? I don't know. Okay, okay, Hylians, got it. And we're going to keep on going forward. Hebra Summit Cave. I'm curious as to how I'm going to get these ice keys. Do I have a spear? Yeah, I got a traveler spear. So since I have a spear, the spear is long enough to not get blizzard effect whenever you pop one of these keys. I just have to be a little careful with how I Z-target them. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Pop them. Give me that ice keys eyeball. We got an ice keys wing and it. Er, give me that eyeball. <laughs> I actually need the eyeball. Like, that's no joke. Uh, keys are going to be one of the more helpful enemies in the game because you want to be able to use their eyeballs uh, with fusing with your arrows to turn your arrows into like homing arrows. This is really good. So I'm going to store that away. I'm going to use a Boko Reaper on this young guy who's, what, harvesting something over here. He's an archer. Oh, gosh, don't! Oh, my goodness. Yo, he was gonna throw... Oh! 
Wow, there's a whole... Oh my gosh, help, 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 help. There's a whole bunch of these guys here. What in the world, man? I'm not ready for these clowns. No, thank you! What hit me? No way! The blue bacoblin hit me with one time, and I got ambushed. Oh, help. The blue bacoblin ambushed me. I should have just ran. All right, I'm learning some combat things here. I'm learning that if I get ambushed, I need to just run, I need to see where my threats are, and then really just pick them off. Because if I don't... Wow, that's rough, man. These guys are... Yeah, there's something. Come here. All those guys are gonna get it. I'm gonna poke them with this stick over here. Who? Do it! I'm rude. I'm gonna go uh, Sapphire. No, I don't need Sapphire Sword. Fine. You can have it. Just one little hit. And then this guy just comes rolling in with his buddy? Like, get out of here. Whoa! Oof! Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. I need these ice things. Don't! Where are you guys going? I need my choo-choo jelly. <laughs> Okay, so remember, there's a blue bacoblin over here, too. Like, I, I cannot risk anything with the blue bacoblin. I need to knock him out ASAP. Take that wooden stick. Where did he go? Where did he sneak up from? Oh, he's over here. You see him just, like, sharpening his, his blade? Do I get a... Oh, I don't even get a sneak strike. Oh, gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Hi? No, you don't. Oh, he did it. I have one quarter of a heart left and I lost. Oh my gosh. Oh, help. Help, man. Dude, we're getting owned over here. Unbelievable. I took like stumble damage, like falling. Oh, maybe I could have just like pressed the press the menu button while I'm falling and I could have gotten my health back. Yeah, yeah, I probably could have. Okay, okay. Live and learn. I'm learning all these lessons today. Dang, and I got robbed a wing too. Yo, random drops over here. Come here, boy. What you want? Get frozen. Oh my gosh! Don't even right now. Okay, not messing around. I'm done. Here, have my branch. Fine. Not even messing around. Watch this. Okay, I'm freezing him. Oh gosh. Uh, and then I'm gonna... I'm just gonna use this stuff. Like, right? Like, what else am I doing with it? Mmm! Get frozen. All y'all. Alright, now. We go... Boko Reaper for you. Okay, you want some of this? Oh my gosh, man. That took way too long. Give me that feathered edge. And your blue horn. I'm taking that. What a guy. Okay, that was kind of hard. Like, low-key, I just... I don't know why I was being careless. Alright, you know, Tulin, come here, man. We got this. We got this. Not happening again. But that was like, dude, if I take one hit of damage from a boss, or from like a little, little enemy, 
It shouldn't do like three hearts, but... Welcome to Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, there's a bonfire in a cave. Let's go see what that's like. I think that's where we need to go. But that's all right. That's all on me. Ooh, hi. That is a hot bonfire. Okay, so we found a Hebra South Summit Cave. Path to Hebra South Summit Cave. All right, didn't think I'd be seeing, any, seeing anyone else in here. Why are you here? Well, I'm looking for Tulin. Yeah, fair enough. He's farther in the cave. They're scavenging for food. Got it. All right, I got you. I got you. Don't I have a flame emitter shield? I do. And in case I wanted to flame these things, I could easily do so. Is there a pathway there? No, there's not. All right, let's do it. There's a rock over here in case I wanted to fuse one of my weapons with it. Yeah, sure. Let's do the uh, the spear. Great. Excellent. Plus one damage. And now we got rock power. All right, where are these big boys? All right. There's a way forward. There's a way up. And there's a way down. Uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to opt for down, to be honest, because that's a little bit more fun. Stepping on the ice. Oh, gosh, in the water. Okay, cool. You know what? I need fish. I'll sell fish. Right? I'll sell fish because I need to sell stuff in order to get gear, man. Oh, my God. That's so funny. And I need to really harvest things, too, man. Opal, rock salt. Mm, that's worth, like, 30 bucks. That's really nothing. Bright caps. There's a lizard over there that I can maybe grab if I'm fast enough. What's the point of this? It was just a little spot? All right, cool, whatever. I'm going to send upwards, and then we're going to go out the normal way that we saw earlier, and then we should be able to find Tulin. All right, here we go. Oh, that wasn't it. I'm sorry. There's a little gust of wind that's coming from somewhere. Yep, here we go. Okay, those are spiky. We're going to come right over here. Give me this bloom seed. That's actually worth some money. Like, I'm literally looking at every single one of these items that I pick up off the ground, and I'm looking at it as money. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's go with the fire fruit. Ooh, launch that. And then we're just going to wait for that fire to burn. I'm going to make our way up. Oh, there is an enemy up there. That's right, you better watch out. Oh, I'm coming for you. Whoever you are, I'm coming. I will not lose. Who was that? Oh, the uh, Horriblin. Oh, and look, is this Zonite? Flint and Luminous Stone. Okay. What's up, dude? Oh, come on. No, I need you. That's all your stuff down there. No, 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 man. You're not going to just... I'm not going to KO you for nothing. No, I'm going to get your stuff. The Horriblin horn? I could probably sell that for like 20 bucks. He says as he walks past a bright cap mushroom. Okay. Don't eat it. And like, you can't sell weapons in the game either. So that's kind of interesting. Like, no one really wants to buy your weapons. I do want this fish though. Chilfin trout. Alright. I'm gonna end up drowning myself over here. Why can't I? Why can't I get that fish? He's so underground. All right, fine, forget it. <laughs> All right, great barrels, awesome. Where do I need to go now? We need to go upwards. But the thing is, they allowed us to have a little spot over here. So I'm gonna hold that. It's a little camping spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my little flint on the campfire. And then remember, we learned earlier that the Hylian pine cones allow us to fly really, really high up. So that's exactly what we we're going to do there. Excellent. So yeah, it's just like, hey, did you pay attention to the person at the campfire? Oh, great. This is what you got to do. So it's a very good puzzle. Hey, dude. Oh, gosh. Hello. A little rock monster. No, thank you. Okay, thanks to the amber. Oh, you got a buddy? Okay, okay. I was not about to get ambushed by those boys. Not at all. Oh, Rocky. Little Rocky loves Emily over here, man. What in the world was that? Alright, 
All right, give me these bombs. I want these lizards. Oh, oh, oh! A sticky lizard? Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, he just fell on me. Yoink! <laughs> that toolin. All right, what about him? Uh, what are you going off with this boy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, what is a Highland doing all the way up here in the blizzard? Here, I'll explain. You're here to talk to Tulin, huh? Yeah, he's, he's right outside. Okay, I'm gonna follow him back to their nest and they flew off. You can leave the cave, uh, head up north. You can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. A lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. All right, let's go find Tulin. Bum, bum, bum. Oof. Go. Go, give me that. Yeah, giant. That's like 30 rupees right there. Oh, look at this. It's very icy over here. Okay, good. All right, a giant tree that they're talking about. I could knock that out. Well, it's probably up here. I don't really want to mess with those guys. And that's a blue bokoblin. I'm good. No, nah, not interested. I'm interested in just finding Tulin and then going from there. So it looks like he's over here on some lone trees, maybe? Is he higher up? What's the deal? Something peak, right? Dude said something. Oh, Talanto, Talanto peak. That's where he, he mentioned. Okay, so he's like literally on the summit. Okay, I'll climb up there. Easy peasy. We got this. Oof. Give me my pot lid as a shield. Don't make fun of my pot lid. Oh, big boy. Holy moly. And an army? Man, I don't have time for that. I'm out here just trying to climb up top, dude. Okay, so he is on the he is on the summit of this mountain here, so we should be fine. Did you see that big bacoblin? I think it was called a big boss bacoblin. A triple B. Who's this? What was that? What was that? Oh, Ice Boy! Oh my gosh! Are you gonna explode? Give me that amber. I could probably sell it for 20 bucks. <laughs> I have to look at everything as its rupee amount, man. Because I'm broke. And I'm gonna I'm gonna need more money. Hey, there you are, kid! Should've kept my guard up! Aw, oh, man, monster. What happened to the monster? Well, Link, where did you come from? Yeah, what happened, dude? Uh, so you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. See, that's the bow napper. Oh, you did? That is the bow napper. I've got to get it back. Help me out. Uh, not just yet. We'll, we'll help you out later. Okay, I can wait. Good. <laughs> this is actually a great stopping point for the game, man. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to help with the bow napper over here, which is this Aracuda. You can see over here, he, he's got the bow in his hands. So we're absolutely going to knock that thing out and help him out with his bow. But of course, that is going to happen on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Stay warm because it's getting a little chilly up here. You guys are great. We'll see you on the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Take care.